Hi, this is Sejo Johnson from Vista Solutions and in this video I will be showing you the integration of OpenERP with Amazon, USPS, UPS, FedEx and Indicia. I have logged into my OpenERP. Let's go to the Amazon instance. Here we have the Amazon instance and Amazon shop. So before starting to import the orders from Amazon, we will have to create an Amazon instance in OpenERP which will have the Amazon seller account credentials like the access key, the marketplace ID, the secret key and the merchant ID. Once we have these information, there is an option over here on the right to create an Amazon shop. So we should click on this to create a new Amazon shop. We can write the name of the shop and select the warehouse and the address and save this. So I have already created an Amazon shop over here. There is a tab called as actions which has quite a lot of features for importing orders and updating the order status. We can also check out the last order import time which is the time and the date on which the order was imported last. So let us click on import orders to import the orders from Amazon. Once the orders are imported the sales order will be created against that order. So since, since we have two orders in Amazon, we can see that two sales orders are created as well as two delivery orders are also created. So one thing we have to keep in mind is only the orders which are confirmed in Amazon Seller Central will be downloaded to OpenERP. So let me take you to the sales and we go to sales orders. Now we can see that there are two orders. The state is invoiced is set to 100%. So you can see that the invoice is also created against this particular sales order. So if I go to accounting and check out the customer invoices, I can see that there are two invoices created. The Amazon order ID is also returned over here and the state of this invoice is set as paid. Now let us go to warehouse to check the delivery order. So I go to warehouse and we have delivery orders over here. There are two delivery orders created against these two orders from Amazon. We can see that the Amazon order is updated over here. The address of the customer is also returned. Now we have to set some options in this delivery order. This is the product that was ordered by the customer. The quantity, the weight. Let's go to the shipping info tab. From here we can select the various shipping carriers that are available to us. So we have a drop down called as shipping type. It has options for FedEx, UPS, USPS and if we want to download the shipping rates from all of these carriers we can select all. We will have to enter the weight of the package. Select the service type options for USPS, FedEx and UPS. For, U for USPS we will need the dimensions of the package. So let's specify the length width and the height and we will save this delivery order. Now we can see that there is a button over here for generating the shipping codes. So when I click on this button shipping rates for all these three shipping carriers will be fetched against this weight and the dimensions which are specified. But before that we have to give the credentials of the shipping carriers so we go to configuration in warehouse. 
Over there we have shipping service management option. Under that we can specify the USPS, FedEx, UPS and Indicia settings. So these are nothing but the credentials that are used to access the APIs from these three carriers. Also we have two checkboxes called S test and active. If you want to use this credentials in the test environment we can check this checkbox. The checkbox called active should always be checked otherwise we will not be able to use this service. Similarly we have options for FedEx. and UPS as well as Indicia. Now let's go back to our delivery order and fetch the shipping rates from the three, the three shipping carriers. So I'll click on generate shipping codes. So now we have the various shipping rates available from UPS, USPS and FedEx. So let's select one of them. So if I want to select the FedEx ground shipping with rate of $6.49, there is a button on the left over here called as accept. So I'll click on that button and now this will generate a shipping label from FedEx and that label will be fetched. So this is the shipping label which was returned from FedEx. Let's open it and this label will show us the name of the sender as well as the address and here we have the customer's name and full address. Now here we have the carrier and carrier tracking reference numbers. So let's refresh the page and now we can see that the carrier tracking reference number has been updated along with the carrier that was selected. Now suppose if we want to change the shipping carrier, let's say we select express mail from USPS. Let me click on accept. And now this will fetch the shipping label from USPS. Let me open up this shipping label. So here similarly you can see the address and the name of the sender and the customer's name and address. We also have the tracking number and since we are using Indicia along with USPS we can see the name of Indicia over here, Indicia.com. Again if I refresh the page, I can see that the carrier and the reference number have been updated. The shipping label is also attached to this particular delivery order which is shown over here. So in future if we want to select the shipping label we can just click on that link and it will open up the shipping label for us. So this was all about the integration of OpenERP with Amazon and various shipping, shipping carriers. Thank you very much for watching this video.